Welcome to Coach Dave Kern Kern again at Academy at Paradise Golf Course. Uh, these are for the lessons ending January 6th. I'm picking on this golfer quite a bit today because uh, um, he comes a couple times a week and he works really hard on his swing. And this is an example of where he finally got his foot actually really working how he wants to. And again, we're just going to ball the whole thing up to really keep an eye on what his feet are doing. Uh, he's a little narrow, I think, for his driver. I'd like to see his feet a little wider, which would also help him do that weight transfer. But you can learn a lot. But look how solid the leg is staying on the ground. Now, he does that lift. That's coming down on the back swing. That's, that's a habit he's created. It's going to be very difficult to break. But if you look at some of the earlier videos, he's much higher. Now he's starting to roll that ankle more to the inside. He's keeping the foot down low, through to the inside. Look at the right knee moving. So you can see the right knee moving towards the left knee. Keeps moving, keeps rotating. Now he just rotates the heel up. Uh, from behind, we wouldn't see the stripes on one of these Adidas shoes. We'd only see the sole. If you look at back and look at the previous video, you can see from the back, we could fully see the stripes on that shoe. Now that shoe is rotated. Uh, that's what he's trying to achieve, and I think he's doing a better job of it. Um, again, that's one of those little picky things, but when you want to take your game a little bit to the next level and be a little more consistent, those are the details you look at. We're just going to look at this golfer at stop motion right here, because he wants to know what he does differently sometimes that creates not quite the solid impact that he'd like to have. I think it's the motion of his legs. Uh, if you look at the picture on the left, which he didn't hit as well as the one on the right, you'll notice hands are about the same position, but there's a different rotation of the right knee and the hips. Look how the back is almost completely turned. I'll we'll back it up a little bit. You see what he does? He has a tendency to come up on his toes really early. Watch how fast. See how he's coming up? That's going to throw him off. What you want to do is you want to keep your right heel planted on the ground and let the, the uh, ankle uh, kind of flex towards the left knee. They look fairly similar, but you can see there's a lot more motion of his right knee moving towards his left knee. That's what he's got to work on. Um, and it's just, a, it's just a little bit. I mean, it only takes an inch or so to throw off the impact. Remember, the, the impact zone is about the size of a dime on the face of a club. Uh, this is kind of picky. But he'll understand what I'm talking about, how he needs to find a way to get that rotation happening a little earlier. We saw this golfer earth earlier in a face-on view, and we noticed how passive his legs were. Um, we may actually want him to switch to a more passive swing so he can use that big upper body strength. Because right now he's fighting against that because his, his swing style wants him to use his legs, but he's not using them, so he's fighting himself. What we'll see here is that not much is going on with the legs here. Not much is going on with the shoulders. The arms are pretty tight. They swings. Not a lot of rotation of the lower body. At this point here, after impact, I should see both back pockets. I don't see any back pocket until pretty far after the impact. There we got one coming up, finally the other one. The other thing we're going to notice if we blow the picture up a little bit, how he's catching the ball pretty far out on the toe. That means that he's not keeping his posture. So let's take a look at that. Whoop, back it up. So we see that his posture has him right there. Watching the swing, see what happens. There's, there's the pull up right there. So he pulls up right there, right and coming through, pulls up and away from the golf ball. We've got to maintain the posture, and we can only do that if we use our legs like coils and springs to help us go into the ground. The downswing is truly a movement into the ground and to the left for the right-handed golfer. Uh, this golfer was a little upset because she continuously hits the ball out to the right. Part of that is her stance. She's standing a little upright with the driver. I'd like to see her uh, butt back a little bit more. Uh, maybe not quite as much flex in the knees. But the real issue is the moment of impact. Uh, we all have a tendency to think that the swing is shaping the shot. Uh, the swing curves the shot, but the original flight of the ball is always going to be 90 degrees off the club face. So I'm going to blow this up. You can see right now the club face is pointing pretty much down the target line. We're going to bet we're going to go forward here. We're going to try to come into the impact pretty slow. 
we're going to watch and we're going to see. See how far to the right the club is? See, it's way out to the right. And she's catching the ball on the toe of the club, which is going to make it even more to the right. So if we, if we can get it to stop at that point, which isn't easy to do at a 90-mile-an-hour swing speed, we'll go back down. Take a look now at the right hand. Obviously, the palm of the right hand is not pointing at the target anymore. It's pointing way out here uh, to the right, out there. Uh, let's go back to the setup position. And you'll see, if we back it up, see the right hand now? It's pointing down the target line. We have to get our hands back to the target line. The hands are what controls the face of the club. The power is generated from our body, but our hands are the finesse of the swing. Get the palm of your right hand back to the club line, and you're going to hit a ball straighter. We often see golfers uh, end up with the club too close to their bodies at the top of the backswing, where they're pulling it in and and like they're snuggling up to the golf club. Uh, that's what we're going to see here. As we take the club back, you can see all of a sudden she's going to pull that club really in close to herself. It's right there. The right elbow is pulled around behind her. Uh, the club is well behind her. Uh, the club should stay in front of you. In other words, when she's here, it needs to be more that the hands are out away from her body, reaching out towards the camera, pushing the end of the club away from her body so that the arms are creating a wider arc coming into the swing. So she comes back down again, she's gonna have a hard time hitting the ball, and that's what she's done. She just misses completely because she's pulled so far away from the ball, she can't hit it. See how far she's pulled away? So her arc has diminished, and she does the same thing here on this side. There's absolutely no width to her swing. The swing is an ellipse. I'll try to draw it so I can do it right. I'm not very good at that. The swing, if I'm looking at the swing face on, the swing goes back and this way. Notice it's not a circle, it's an ellipse. That's what she needs to learn how to do. I talk a lot about how the golfers need to learn how to use their legs more. This is a golfer that does a really good job of that. Uh, let's just play this forward from this point It's slow motion. And I really want you to pay special attention to the action of the legs. Uh, this is very slow. See a great takeaway. Notice how the club head is going to pass the hands early. Look at the leg action right there. Beautiful rotation. Nice, comfortable, balanced finish. That's what we look for in a swing. Um, it's kind of funny because what he would like me to do is find a way to catch him doing it wrong. And it seems like every time I throw the camera on him, he puts a swing on like that. That was a really nice swing. Good finish. Most importantly, look at the leg action. You can see he's swinging the club with his legs as much as he is with his arms. This golfer has the slight tendency of getting what I call ball locked. He locks himself in place from his lower body and has no leg action at all. Uh, the legs are a connection to the ground. The ground is where we derive our power from because we're pushing off the ground. What you'll see here is all of his torque and all of his power is upper body. Not a lot going on there. Uh, see, there's no rotation at all. The right knee isn't moving at all to the left knee. He's just slapping at the ball with his upper body, and he's not able to get any momentum forward. The key to the golf swing to generate power, and that's what it seems like every guy wants to do, is we need to get the power line working. The power line is the straight line that runs from our ear uh, on the outside of our lead leg. And what we want to do is we want to move past that power line. You see, nothing's happening. At this point right now, his right hip should be on the power line. It's actually moving away from it. Can you see that? His mass is now behind the power line instead of up to it. He should have rotated everything that way. We're going to work on that. Well, now he got there. Look at, look at that. See how he got there? But he got there well after impact. Oop, there. So we're going to work on it. He can get there. We're going to get him to get there. Here we have DB. She's been working really hard on getting her swing a little more upright. It's been a little too flat in the past. Uh, sometimes not even as high as her waistline. So let's watch what happens when she takes the club back. Takes it back a little too far to the inside. See, that's where she's getting jammed up, right there. Uh, the hands are moving faster than the shoulders are turning. So she's way behind her on this point right here. When the hands are about even with the toes, the club face should be blocking the camera's view of the hands. So you see she's taking it back too far, too low to the inside. See too low. The hands need to be up here 
parallel to the swing plane. Then she routes it back down to the inside. Very, very nice and a good swing. What she's going to lack with that little movement is she doesn't get any help from gravity to help her speed up the club. She's uh, fighting against herself there. So we can just get her to, to let that club come back a little higher, more up where that upper line is. I think she's going to be very happy. We're going to work on that next week. One of the nice, nice things about videoing a uh, left-hander is that they're facing the sun in the morning like we have here. So I can get a good picture of him and a, and a good uh, relief picture. Uh, let's look at the setup here. He's in a pretty good position there. Uh, hands maybe could be a little bit further forward so his lead wrist was flatter. But it looks pretty good. Here goes the takeaway. Pretty nice movement right there. Really wide on the takeaway. Very young and athletic looking in this takeaway, isn't he? Very nice. Look how far the shoulders have rotated. Um, I wish I could do that. Great rotation. He's come down through, pulling the handle very nicely. Still pulling the handle. Now he's pulled up a little way. What he's doing here is he's rotating more shoulders than, than uh, hips. What he needs to do at about this point right now, he needs to start driving this right knee, left knee to the right knee. And he doesn't. He kind of locks it in place. It doesn't go far enough. So that his shoulders are way more open, his chest is turned way more than his hips, and he ends up past and falling backwards a little bit. Uh, most of the swing is very good. We just got to get him to swing from the ground up on the way uh, forward. Um, I tell a lot of golfers that the swing on the way down begins with the feet, not with the hands. So we got to learn how to shift the weight on the feet and get that motion going to the lead side. In the image on the left, we see this golfer in a pretty good finished position. Arms are extended down the line, the right hips are rotated around, the belt buckles facing the target, uh, the right toe uh, is on the ground with no pressure on it. You can see there's no bend in the foot at all. Let's watch how he got there, or doesn't get there, in his real swing. This is his practice swing on the left, here's his real swing on the right. What changes, I think for most of us, is that we go from having a swing to all of a sudden now we have to hit the ball. See how he is jammed in there? That's a different look, isn't it? Look at the leg, the right leg. He hasn't moved it at all. So what happens is he comes into the ball. The right hand stays underneath the golf club, jams him up. No extension. No, still no extension. He can't, you can't extend the right arm when the left elbow is bent out behind you instead of down. And he gets to about here. And you take a look at those two positions. Uh, very clearly different. You see a lot more rotation here on the left side, then here on the right side. Right knee to left knee, right hip around, belt buckle to the target, chest facing the target, arms extended. We know he can do it physically because we can see it in the left picture. Uh, that's what we're gonna get him to work on. Um, it'll be frustrating a little bit at first, but he's gonna do really well. Here we have Al in his crocodile Dundee hat. He's got a really nice posture here. He's got the shaft running up, just about even with his belt buckle. We'll see if he turns on the shoulder plane. And let's see if he does a good job of keeping his back still. We're going to see a lot of lines here. Let's see what happens. T turning around. Uh, doesn't quite get the right shoulder low enough, but not bad. Notice that the, the uh, right elbow is now parallel or on in the swing plane. He needs to be there. What I don't like is that move right there, that little over-the-top move. You see a lot of golfers do. The move from here should be to bring the club straight down the shaft line, right down like that, and then around. You'll see he comes over the top, and then he's swinging out and over and above the swing plane. So the club out here is past the hands. It needs to be coming at the ball from inside the hand line. Uh, that'll keep him from having that little push off to the right that he has once in a while. Uh, so we're going to get him to work on dropping the hands down a little bit. Uh, we're going to work hard on that. So what'll happen is, I'm going to clear everything out of the way. When he gets to the top, instead of doing that little move right there, He's just going to go that way, that way, and that way. One, two, one, two. We want to rotate our shoulders on the same line that we rotate um, our hands and arms. Um, so the bottom blue line is the club angle. The top line should be the angle that the shoulders turn on. What you'll see here is he doesn't quite do that. What he does is he lifts up, and instead of bringing the left shoulder down under his chin, the left shoulder stay fairly level. He doesn't have a nice turn. 
uh, then his, his arm can't get parallel to the lower blue line, can't get up on the blue line, uh, so he's a little bit stuck. Now as he comes back down again, he's going to try to turn through, and he does a pretty good job coming right into the impact right here. That's pretty nice. But then he's, he's already jammed up. Now he's rotating the shoulders on the swing plane. If he'd have done it on the way back, I think he'd be a lot more comfortable. We'll get him to rotate both directions the same. I think he'll be fine.